In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, there are structures so vast, so ancient, and so luminous that they stretch the limits of our imagination. Among them stands IC1101, a galaxy so enormous that it redefines what we think a galaxy can be. Situated over a billion light years away in the constellation Virgo, this elliptical behemoth reigns as one of the largest galaxies ever observed, a city of stars on a truly cosmic scale. Yet, even as astronomers measure its unimaginable size, roughly six million light years across, one haunting question remains. Is IC1101 truly the largest galaxy in existence? Or could even grander structures lie hidden in the unreachable depths beyond our observable universe? To answer this, we must first understand not only what IC1101 is, but also where our cosmic horizon truly ends. IC1101 was discovered in 1790 by the English astronomer Frederick William Herschel, but its true immensity wasn't fully appreciated until the late 20th century. Located at the centre of the Abel 2029 galaxy cluster, IC1101 is a supergiant elliptical galaxy, a type of galaxy that forms when multiple smaller galaxies merge over billions of years. While our Milky Way spans about 100,000 light years, IC1101 stretches across 5.5 to 6 million light years, containing hundreds of trillions of stars. It is not a delicate spiral like ours. It's a smooth, diffuse sphere of ancient stars, faintly glowing gold, with almost no new stars forming. It is, in essence, the retired monarch of galaxies. Massive, old, and still growing by devouring others that stray too close. At its core lies a supermassive black hole, estimated to weigh more than 100 billion times the mass of our Sun, possibly one of the largest black holes in existence. Everything about IC1101 screams excess. Its size, its luminosity, its gravitational dominance. But there's a limit to what we can observe. And IC1101, as grand as it is, may only be a tiny fraction of what lies beyond. The observable universe is not the entire universe. It's merely the part we can see, limited by the speed of light and the age of the cosmos. Light from the most distant galaxies has taken about 13.8 billion years to reach us since the Big Bang. But because the universe has been expanding during that time, the edge of the observable universe is now about 46.5 billion light years away in every direction. This forms a spherical bubble, our cosmic horizon. Anything beyond that distance is invisible to us. Not because it doesn't exist, but because its light hasn't had time to reach us. Imagine standing in a vast, foggy landscape with a flashlight. You can only see so far, not because the world ends there, but because the light simply fades into the haze. The observable universe is our flashlight beam. Beyond it, the fog of space-time stretches endlessly. Astronomers can study only what's within this bubble, but it's entirely possible, in fact probable, that the universe continues far beyond it, perhaps infinitely. If so, then galaxies much larger than IC1101 could be thriving in those unreachable realms. To understand whether larger galaxies can exist, we must look at how galaxies grow. In the early universe, small clouds of gas and dark matter condensed under gravity, forming the first primitive galaxies. Over billions of years, these galaxies merged, creating larger and larger systems. This process, called hierarchical merging, means that the biggest galaxies form in the densest regions of the universe, galaxy clusters and superclusters, where collisions are common. IC1101 sits at the heart of such a cluster, where smaller galaxies are constantly being pulled in by gravity and assimilated. Given enough time, trillions of years, 
this process could continue, potentially forming galaxies even larger than IC 1101. However, there are natural limits. Dark energy, the mysterious force driving the acceleration of the universe's expansion, is pulling galaxies away from each other. In the far future, most galaxies will become isolated, cutting off the supply of new mergers. Star formation slows down as galaxies age, and their gas supplies are used up or blown away. Massive ellipticals, like IC 1101, are already red and dead, with little material left to create new stars. Despite these constraints, in regions of space beyond our observation, conditions might be very different. In some distant supercluster, untouched by our light, ultramassive galaxies could exist. Galaxies so vast, they make IC 1101 look like a mere speck. The idea that there may be galaxies larger than IC 1101 depends on how we imagine the unobservable universe. Cosmologists generally agree that the universe beyond what we can see is not fundamentally different. It likely follows the same physical laws, the same cosmic structure, and the same types of galaxies. But because it extends, possibly infinitely, the variations could be staggering. There might be regions of higher density, where galaxies have merged at a faster rate, creating hypergiant galaxies tens of millions of light years across. There could also be cosmic voids so vast that even IC 1101 would seem isolated in comparison. If the multiverse hypothesis is true, if our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam, then beyond our horizon might lie universes with different constants, different physics, and even different types of galaxies that dwarf anything we can imagine. We may never see them directly, but they could subtly influence our own universe through gravitational effects, such as the unexplained dark flow, a mysterious motion of galaxy clusters toward an unseen point far beyond the observable boundary. IC1101, in many ways, is a glimpse into the future of galaxies like our own. Billions of years from now, the Milky Way will collide with the Andromeda Galaxy, forming a massive elliptical galaxy, sometimes nicknamed Milkdromeda. Given enough mergers, it could evolve into something like IC1101, fast, smooth, and ancient. IC1101 represents the end point of galactic evolution, where the chaos of spirals and starbirth has given way to a quiet, golden eternity. It is a reminder of the universe's passage of time, how everything bright and dynamic eventually settles into stillness. But it's also a hint. If such a galaxy can exist within our cosmic horizon, then the universe beyond it, with countless more eons of evolution, may hold even more extreme forms. Even with the James Webb Space Telescope and future observatories, we are bound by the same fundamental wall, the speed of light. We can look deeper, further and with greater clarity, but we can never see beyond the cosmic horizon. The largest galaxies that exist might already have faded into the infrared glow of distance and time, too dim for any telescope to detect. Others may never have sent their light toward us at all, forever locked outside our observable sphere. And yet, our inability to see them doesn't mean they aren't there. The universe has always been larger, older, and more complex than our instruments can measure. The discovery of IC1101 itself was once unthinkable, a galaxy that shattered expectations. It is entirely reasonable to believe that there are galaxies beyond our reach that will one day redefine our understanding once again. IC1101 stands as a monument to cosmic creation, a galaxy so vast it defies comprehension stretching millions of light years across the void. It is the grand cathedral of the cosmos, built from the ashes of countless smaller galaxies, glowing with the light of ancient stars. But perhaps the most humbling truth it teaches us is this. Even the largest thing we know 
is not the limit of existence. Beyond the veil of our observable universe may lie galaxies even greater, unseen, undreamed, and unreachable. The cosmos has no obligation to make itself knowable to us. It simply is. And so, when we look at IC1101, we are not seeing the boundary of what's possible. We are seeing a hint of infinity, a whisper from the unreachable depths, reminding us that in the grand design of the universe, there will always be something larger, stranger, and more magnificent, waiting just beyond our sight.